How many times have you heard this advice? Just take action. It sounds very simple and very true, right? If you take action, you will make progress and your life will improve. But be honest, did hearing the advice, just take action, actually change your life? Because if I have to be really honest, hearing this advice from Hamza, Iman, Tate, and from every single other self-improvement YouTuber out there did not change my life. Yes, I got motivated in that second, as well as it really made sense. If you take action, your life will change. But then when I zoom out and I look at my life overall, that didn't really create that consistency in my life. I already knew that I had to take action. I knew that the consistency is the key to making progress in all areas of my life. In the gym, in the diet, in the business. But the advice of just take action, bro, did not work for me. And maybe you feel the same. You watch all of these self-improvement videos that all tell you this one thing, you know, take action, take action, take action. But then you do take action, but then you end up uh, snapping back to your old habits. And the thing is, this video is not like a dumbass video that's going to tell you, no, 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 not taking action is not your fault, bro. It is 100% your fault. The fact that my life is not exactly how I want it to be, the lifestyle that I want to live is not here right now, is 100% my fault. But giving the advice of just take action, bro, is very simple. And that's why all these YouTubers are hiding behind that advice. It's just easy to give. Imagine a difficult puzzle and a baby. The baby is not going to be able to do that puzzle. That doesn't mean the puzzle is wrong or bad. The baby is just not at the level that he or she know cannot make that puzzle yet. And that also doesn't mean the baby will never be able to do the puzzle. Give it time, it will do it in the future, but right now, he just can't. Look back into your life. How actually disciplined and consistent are you? Not in your head. Actually in real life. Can you show me a habit tracker where you have meditated, read, journaled, went to the gym and built your business consistently every single day for like 30 days, 60 days? If you haven't built that consistency yet, how stupid it is to watch a video, you know, this just tells you take action and then expect that your life is going to be completely changed. If it was like that, everyone who's consuming, you know, Hamza, Tate, Imangadzi, they would all be millionaires. Is that the case? No. Now, I'm not saying that I know all the answers, but I have found two things that helped me tremendously while the advice of, you know, just take action wasn't working. Number one, I had too much on my plate that I was focusing on. Bro, this shit used to happen to me all the time. I would be incredibly motivated to change my life after watching like a Skyfall Imangazi edit. And I would put so much on my plate that I could chew. I'm going to meditate every single day. I'm going to count my calories very strictly every fucking day. I'm going to go for like a half an hour cardio every day. I'm also going to build my business on the side. Then I would be in this hamster wheel of not going anywhere and after a week, I would even forget why I fucking started. And then I would watch a video about like focus, about how if you can focus one thing at a time, you will make consistently progress. And then I'll be like, yeah, that makes sense. From now on, I'm only going to focus on this one thing. The others I don't care about, I'm going to make slow progress. But then I would get bored after a couple of days and I would slowly start to add things. You know, three days later, after meditation, I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to go for run two. Well, yeah, I watched a motivational video. I'm going to count my calories now. I want to be jacked. And then I would burn out again. And then the cycle would repeat itself. And the solution to this, even though it's not cool at all, is pick one thing that you want to improve in your life and improve that first. For a month, don't even think about anything else. Build, please, a little bit of consistency under your belt and then slowly add other stuff. Imagine you have like four habits that you're trying to do. Instead of trying to do four of them at the same time for like four months and at the end of those four months still not being someone who is consistent, why don't you first start with a habit and then every single month add another one so at the end of four months you end up being able to be consistent in all of them. But you want to do all of them at the same time right now and then not be consistent in four months later, aren't you? And here is the second thing that really worked for me. I changed my environment. I literally changed the country I lived in. I changed all of my friends. Now, my friends were not like bad people, but I didn't really relate to them much. I was in this grind of self-improvement, you know, trying to build my business, a fitness, and I would look at the world much different than them. And whenever I was sitting with them, whenever we were talking, I would always have this feeling that I'm just wasting time here sitting. And I just didn't relate to those people. I felt like those people just didn't understand me. Right now, you have resistance in front of you, keeping you from making progress like it's an uphill battle. This resistance can be your family, can be your friends, can be, you know, the school that you're in, or even can be the dirty and unorganized like room that you have. And probably it's all of them combined. 
Nothing is helping you. Nothing is really pushing you towards your goals in your environment. Not the people, not the education system, not the school, not even your parents. They don't even get what you do, right? What you want to do. You want to build this online business. And they're like, you know, you can't really make money on the internet. Even though my parents are like people who, you know, read a lot. They don't get this concept of like you can sit down on a laptop and really make a lot of money. They just don't get it. But here is what you can do. You can put that resistance from in front of you to your back. So it is harder to go back to your old habits, but it is easier to make progress. So it kind of sounds like I'm making this boring yes self-improvement video that everyone makes and it's just fully fluff and after you watch this video, nothing's gonna change. So I'm just gonna tell you exactly what I have done in my life so maybe this can work for you too. I'm not saying it is 100% gonna work, but this worked for me. Build yourself a new network of people in real life that push you to become better. Right now, the date is 25th of March, and I'm currently making a video. I'm on the third day of making this video, and this video is gonna be titled like, I met 30 friends in 30 days. And these are like 30 guys, I have no idea who they are, I'm just like cold approaching them in the gym, in the university, getting their phone number, and like becoming friends with them. Why? Because I'm gonna make a video where I'm gonna show people it's not really difficult to socialize, it's not really difficult to build yourself a network of people who are kind of like-minded. They might not be really close to you, but they will be a little like-minded. And currently I'm on the third day, and until now I met two people. One of them is a 16-year-old guy who's Italian but fucking jacked. And the second guy is someone who has like a videography agency, and the guy worked with brands like Dior, Adidas, and like even Jeremy Fragrance, if you guys know that guy. I think he's like a Cobra as well. Like Would you introduce yourself? Yeah, nice to meet you. My name's Luke. I'm a young entrepreneur from Munich. I run a video production company. We produce a lot of stuff with brands like Dior, Adidas, Red Bull. And after I have met these two people, I feel like my norm has slowly changed. My norm went from, yeah, I'm like, you know, struggling with my diet. I can't really do diet well. I just like eating like some chocolate here and there to going to, you know, I'm going to do cardio right after I film this video because it's just literally like sunny outside. Let me show you guys. In Germany, the sunny weather is not really too common. And just look at this, it's like sunny outside. I'm gonna go for a cardio ride after this. And I'm also making a video right now where I'm going from like fat to fit in 90 days. Well, I'm not fat as you guys know, but because of the traveling as well as because of like um, shitty diet, I've been a little bitch and I've went through, like I left my fitness a little. And I'm making a video right now where I make like a 90 day body transformation. Now, my norm has completely changed simply because Two years ago, or even like a year ago, Ahmed was just his in own mind. He was like in his room, his environment was not the best, he had like an unorganized room, his friends were good people, but they weren't like on self-improvement. They, I'm not gonna shit on them, but like they weren't on self-improvement. I didn't really relate to them. And now I've changed my circle, I've changed my environment, I'm in a fully new country, I'm in a new continent, and I'm building my new identity. And in this new identity, the stuff that, you know, I identified with in the past, one of them was literally, my diet was shit. I identified as a guy who had a shit diet. Right now I'm tracking all my calories and it's my new normal. The consistency is going to come slowly. Every single day, just focus on one thing. Please just focus on one thing and then slowly do it like for 30 days and then add one more small thing or make like your meditation from like five minutes to 10 minutes. And six months later, you would have made actual consistent progress instead of being in this hamster wheel of like fake self-improvement. My friend, I'm not gonna tell you, just take action, bro, but take action, start small and start building the life that you wanna live. This video is sponsored by Akiflow. Akiflow is the all-in-one to-do list app that can help you manage your life. When I started my self-improvement journey, life was very simple. It was me, in my room, in my head, doing my self-improvement habits. But a couple of years later, one thing did not change. And that one thing that didn't change is working on my laptop every single day for hours. But a lot of different things changed, you know? The things that changed are, I'm right now building a business with a team, and that means I have so many more responsibilities as well as so many more tasks. That's why life, when you're an entrepreneur and you are trying to grow your business, life gets complicated very fast. And Akiflow helps you manage that chaos. So when you hop into Akiflow, what you're gonna see is on the left side, you will have your like to-do list. And on the right side, you will have your like calendar view. And you can change the calendar view however you like. You can create here tasks. For example, let's just say, you no know, task. And then what you can do is take one of those to-dos, 
put into a day and then you can customize it however you like. You can go in here, you can make it, for example, a high priority, medium priority, low priority. And one thing I really like about Akiflow is this feature. And this feature is called Goal of the Day. You can essentially customize these tasks however you like. The time, the duration, you know, the date. And also you can postpone these tasks also however you like. You can make it, for example, you know, someday I'll do it. You can snooze it next week, uh, tomorrow, which happens a lot when you're running a business. Now, the absolute feature that puts Akiflow apart from, you know, all of the other competitors is this. When you're running a business, you will have like a couple of different apps that you use. I use Slack for communication. I use uh, Gmail for like, again, communication. I use Notion, I use um, sometimes ClickUp. And what happens is I can pull all of my tasks from all these different to-do like ways, you know, if there's a task on Slack, Artiflow is going to take that one task from Slack and then put it into my to-do list here so I can see all of my to-dos, not different in different ways, but just here. As you can see, you can integrate it with Slack, you can integrate it with Notion, which is what I use a lot of times, you know, Asana, a ClickUp, uh, Todoist, these are all apps that I've suggested in the past. When it comes to your calendar view, you can combine this with essentially your Google Calendar that you have, and that's why all the schedules and everything you have built are gonna be directly integrated into this, and you don't have to build anything from scratch, everything will be already imported for you. Now, as you can see, on the left side, we have, for example, the inbox, and inbox are the things that, you know, tasks that you can get done, and on the upcoming side, we have the tasks that we're going to be working with in the next one week. For example, we have today, today's the 25th of March, and then we have tomorrow, the next day, and all of these tasks are going to be the things that I will get done in the next couple of days. Now, one more thing we have is here, it's called the all tasks, and all the tasks that you have are going to be essentially coming up to here. As you can see, I have, for example, podcast with Dimitri, which was done today, and team meeting with Agent Gold AI, which was done today as well. So all in all, Akiflow can be a great way for you to manage your life and your tasks. There's going to be a link in the description for Akiflow for you to check it out. Now, if you are very, very serious about your self-improvement, about your productivity, what happens is I have created this one hour like productivity masterclass about like monk mode on how you can improve your life. And you can just watch it by clicking right here.